In this video, I'm going to use linearization to make an estimate. We have used linearization, or differentials, to estimate 5.99 squared. So there are a few things to talk about here. Right away, I know what you're thinking. Why don't we just plug this into the calculator? And I agree with you. For something like this, absolutely, you would plug that into a calculator. However, uh, the, the idea of using linearization uh, goes beyond the simple problems. I'm using a simple problem here, but it goes beyond the simple problems for programming, uh, for, for ideas when you are just uh, making estimates based on uh, predictions and, and therefore uh, the probability of certain numbers coming up. So, so anyway, we, we practice with something simple here. Also, uh, some calculus teachers are going to probably want to have my head for using linearization and differentials as synonyms, but the, the truth is we're going to use linearization to estimate a, a small difference here, so the idea of differentials. So that's why I have those very closely related. So let's say we, we've got something squared here. Let's say I've got some function where x is squared. I have something squared. And if we were to graph that, the x squared, we know that we would, it would look something like this. And it would curve and curve and curve. It is not a straight line. And how about right here? Let's say this is where x equals 6. Well, this is curved. But we can linearize this function right at this point. So we can find something very close to 6. So if this is point is 6, we would just say 6 squared is 36, but we are going to linearize this function of x squared. So we can, let's blow this up now. I'm going to take this and blow it up where it's curved. And again, let's say this point is 6 and this point is 5.99. Well, if we draw a line through that, we're going to be pretty close. Pretty close. We're not going to be exactly at that point, but we're going to be pretty close to the y value of a corresponding x value of 5.99. So what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate the function at 6, this is 6, and then use this linearization, that is, this step using the slope of this tangent line and the difference in the x, the differential, a very small difference, to estimate the uh, value of 5.99 squared, right, if this is 5.99. Okay, let's get to it. So if I have f of x equals x squared, then I can use this idea of differentials or linearization to say, well, f of x plus some differential, some small change in x, and that's this, this triangle x or delta x. That's our differential. Well, that equals the function evaluated at x, and that's we're going to evaluate it at 6, plus the slope, the instantaneous slope at that point, at 6, or at some value x, multiplied by the change in x. And our change in x here is negative, because we're, we're subtracting off of 6, negative 0 0.01. So I'm going to just put that over to the side here. x equals 6, and delta x equals negative 0 0.01. Okay, so let's start plugging stuff in. f of x, that's 6 squared, plus f prime of x, that's 2, let's back up and just do this as x, in terms of x here. So let's just, f of x is just x squared, plus f prime of x, the first derivative is 2x, times, we want the delta x, Again, I'm just doing this in terms of x, delta x. Okay, so I've just uh, done this for this specific function.
Now, what we're going to do is plug the numbers in. I'll use orange to correspond to what I've got here. So, this f of x plus delta x, now we have f of 6 plus negative 0 0.01, right? Our delta x is negative 0 0.01. Got to put negative over here. Negative 0 0.01. So x squared, 6 squared plus 2 times 6 times negative 0 0.01 equals 36 plus 12 times negative 0 0.01 plus negative 0.12 equals 36 minus 0.12 that equals 35.88 so I, I'll put approximately equal to so what we've done here is we've estimated 5.99 squared to be approximately equal to 35.8 using linearization and, and thereby using differentials.